Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So I thought we'd have a little look through my plane collection. If you're a bit geeky like me and interested, stick around. So we'll start at the top with this wooden plane. I picked this up in an antique shop a few years ago. It's got a bit of damage to it. It's got really nice chunky, I should think three mil thick iron on that. And I got it just because I like it as an item. It's um, never been used and I don't plan to get it up and running because I don't need to. Um, I've got a plane this size, so it's just a bit of decoration. Next is my number seven by Faithful. Now when I built this worktop, worktop workbench, I needed a plane to flatten it. So I wanted a nice big number seven jointing plane. I looked for second hand ones you know, Stanley's or records, and they're going around the hundred pound mark and not in very good condition. Um, obviously, the Veritas and Lee Nielsen brand new ones are hundreds and hundreds of pounds. This was something like 38 pounds, so I kind of thought, How wrong can you go? Um, the sole was not very flat at all. I probably spent something like three hours flattening the sole. I then upgraded the iron to a 3mm thick one and a chip breaker which normally has the kind of curved end, this has got a flat end and because I upgraded that you have to upgrade the adjustment mechanism to accommodate the thicker iron. These parts came from Workshop Heaven, they're great for plane accessories, but they're great for all hand tools, but they've got a lot of bits for planes. So this, um, for £38 tall, well I should think I probably spent almost as much again on the upgrades, but they were not needed. I, in fact, I didn't even have these when I flattened the workbench, I just used the bits that came with it. If you're prepared to put the work in, you can really tune one of these up very well. Next, we've got an Axminster Rider it says 62 on it, I don't know what that means, but it's a number five low angle jack. This is my favorite plane. Um, it's really nice quality, the Axminster Rider ones. They're much cheaper than say the Veritas or the Lee Nielsen, but they're more expensive than the Records or Stanley's. Um, the low angle is so easy to set up and use. It has a adjustable throat um, it's lovely and I bought a spare iron for it as well because I hate sharpening so I, I can swap one out and then when I set up the sharpening I can do two at the same time um, I didn't pay full price for this if you go on the Axminster website and scroll to the bottom they've got a link to their eBay store so I think these are 120 pounds ish yeah I'm making that up you can check but I think I got it for about £60 and I got an iron for it for another £10. So it was a bargain. I think it said there was some cosmetic imperfections, but to be honest, you know, I couldn't see much. And it's a tool. It's not something going in a display cabinet. I want to use it. So yeah, it's, it's great and I use it all the time. Next we've got one of these little um, wooden rebate planes or shoulder planes or whatever they're called. I picked this up for a couple of pounds of the car boot sale. It's got some paint on it and some chips. Um, I gave it a quick sharpen and I've used it quite a few times. And sometimes it's, it gets you out of trouble. But it's um, on my job list to sand it all down, clean a bit of the rust off the iron and restore it. But it works like it is. So yeah, uh, for a couple of quid it's great. Here, I think this is my only record plane. This is a record number five, and I got this at Maker Central from AH Bespoke. And it was a bit of a sorry state, and I've actually done a video restoring it, so that'll be out in a few weeks. So the cap iron was chromed, so that was in a bit of a sorry state, and it's missing the adjuster for the frog, so I need to go onto Workshop Heaven and order one of those. Uh, the handles were in black paint and I actually sanded them down and finished them. I flattened it and it works great now. So next to the number five we've got a block plane but I think I'll come back to that later and do the block planes in one go. 
So under that, we've got two number fours, which I've set up differently. Let's have a look. Another faithful one to start with. Oh, we've got router plane in there as well, so I'll get that down. So this was actually in my local DIY store, and they had this and the block plane in a set for like £20 for the two on sale. So I thought, well, might as well get it. That The handles are actually quite nice. I like this style of cap iron with the screw rather than the lever. Again, I upgraded the iron and the cap iron to three mil thick ones and, and changed that and flattened it. Yeah, it's a bit scuffed there, but yeah. For, well, 20 quid for two planes, it really is very good. So then we've got this, which cost way more. Uh, it's a little Veritas router plane. I think these cost like 38 pounds, these little tiny things. But it's, they're not the kind of things you pick up at a car boot sale. Well, I search, but there's not many about. So I would like a bigger one, but they're very expensive. But this is so handy. But yeah, I could just use a larger one. Next, we've got a WS Birmingham, which I got from a relative. This was in a box of old rusty tools. So I cleaned up the handles and they're looking much nicer now. It's got lovely brass cap iron. Um, unfortunately, when I was in the old workshop, I dropped it and chipped off the casting there. I mean, it doesn't affect the, affect the performance, but yeah, I was very frustrated with myself because I do search for these on eBay and because um, I, I really like this plane. So I've got quite a curve or camber on the blade there. So it's more of a scrub plane set up this one. So I've got two number fours, one more traditionally set up um, and this for more of the rough work. So on the bottom shelf, we've got this. I think I got it at a car boot sale. So a very simple plane, no uh, chip breaker, just an iron, and really that's to be set up as a scrub plane as well. But um, I've never really got round to it because I have the larger Birmingham one. Uh, we've got a little Stanley block plane, another plane in a box, and then I get down the faithful block plane. So let's go to the faithful block plane. No, let's start with this one. This one I have first. Uh, Stanley 110. Incredibly simple. Works great. But the adjustment is you loosen off this tightener, tap the iron down. It's not... You can't easily micro-adjust it. But really simple and works fantastic. So I wanted a plane that had a screw adjuster and this has an adjustable throat and everything. So this came with the number four in that, what I thought was a great deal, but the casting on this is terrible. It's yeah, a bit of a dog and you can flatten things and clean things up, but if the casting is not very good, there's not much you can do. So I don't use this one much and I'll probably end up, you know, giving this to someone who needs it more than I do. And I would definitely like perhaps a, another Axminster Rider uh, block plane. In here, what do we have? We have a Stanley 130. So this, you can set up in two configurations. You can move the iron from either side for going into corners. Um, I've never used it it just stays in the box and it's still got the sticker on so I would have thought I mean it's got a little bit of rust in there just for storage it's probably never been used so there we go bit of a collection always room for more um, I don't tend to use them on the, the video much but I do tend to use them when I'm making things for myself and now I've actually got them on the wall and accessible I found myself reaching for them so much more. So thanks for watching, thanks to my Patreons, and please subscribe for more videos.